I want to use Excel here to illustrate the difference between having a short position in a stock and a or a long position in a put. Now, these are both positions you take when you think the price is going to go down. So in a short sale, what you're doing is you're selling stock, for example, that you don't own. So what you do is you call up your broker, your broker finds shares to borrow, you sell those at some price, and then you hope when you have to replace them and buy them back, you'll buy them back at a lower price. So we usually think of making money as buy low, sell high. This is just the opposite. You're going to sell high and buy low. That's the hope. So what I have here is I have the payoffs for a short stock and a long put position. I'm going to assume that the exercise price for the put is $20, and I'm going to assume that that's the same price you short sell it at. So you're selling it at 20, and you're hoping to buy it back at a lower price. What's the payoff in Excel look like? The payoff in Excel looks for the short sale of the stock is going to be the price of the stock here in cell D3. We're assuming we short sell it for the same price as the exercise price. This allows us to do some comparing when I show you the graph in a second. So you short sell it for $20, and that's in cell D3, and I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the three, so when I copy the formula down, this stays locked at D3. It doesn't go to D4 and D5, etc. What are we subtracting? We're subtracting the price of the stock. So the price of the stock happens to be over here. The first price of the stock is in B6, and I'll copy the formula down. So this right here is going to be D3 minus B6. This is going to be D3 minus B7. And you can see that when the price is zero, right, you sold it at 20, it cost you zero to buy it back, you made $20. Um, if the price fell to $2, you sold it for $20, you had to buy it for $2 to cover your position, you make $18, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's take a look at the picture here. So the graph here shows you this payoff. It's a straight line and it's downward sloping, and they don't do a great job in Excel here, but this is the zero axis where it crosses at 20. So if you sold it at 20 and you bought it back at 20, okay, ignoring transactions costs, you would make zero profit. And you can see that right here at a price of 20, you make zero. All right, if the price goes down, say to 10, you make $10, right? You sold it at 10, you buy it, I'm sorry, you sold it at 20, you buy it back at 10, you make a $10 profit. Of course, if the price goes up, you're going to lose money. Say the price goes up to $28. You sold it at 20, you have to buy it back at 28, and you're going to lose $8, as you can see here. So the downside to doing a short sale is there's no limit to how much money you can lose. If the price were to shoot up to $100 a share or $500 a share, you would lose an awful lot of money. So Let's compare that to the put option. Now, what a put option does is a put option allows you to sell at the exercise price, but it doesn't uh, obligate you to. So you have the right, but not the obligation to sell at 20. And for that privilege, you pay a premium. So we're going to assume the premium is $3. And again, the exercise price is 20. Your payoff in Excel is going to be the maximum of the exercise price, the sell price, minus the stock price, or zero. So if this is a negative number, you just throw it away. Remember, you don't have to use it. And then we're going to subtract out the premium. So for example, if the price is zero, you, have the, you buy the stock at zero. You've already sold it at 20, that's a $20 profit, uh, or $20 in revenue, minus the $3 premium you paid, you made $17, okay? And similarly, as we go down to these different uh, prices, okay? So if I want to put that 
that um, long put position on the graph, we can see this, this blue line here is the payoff from the put. What can we see? We can see it starts below the um, short sale. So in the event that you're correct and prices do fall, you'd make more money from the short sale because you didn't pay $3 for this premium. But on the other side, if the price goes up, it limits how much money you lose. And that's the nice thing about the put. You're not going to lose an infinite amount of possibly well, maybe not an infinite amount of money, but a, sub a very significantly large amount of money. Here you're limited to $3 a share, right? If it's out of the money, so to speak, you just throw it away. So that's the nice thing. So you can see from my payoff here that the worst that happens is you lose $3. You can see that from the short sale of the stock, it just keeps going, uh, getting more negative. So that's the nice thing about the short sale, or I'm sorry, nice thing about the put. The downside of, for the put is the $3 premium you're paying and also the fact that puts expire. When the option expires, you're going to have to buy another put in order to maintain this position. Okay, a short sale, you can hold for a while, okay, probably not indefinitely because if the price keeps going up, you're going to get margin calls and eventually you're going to probably need to close out your position. But this is a nice way to look at it and to do it in Excel. So here I have the formulas you would put in here. And again, to draw the graph, you can simply highlight these cells. And I think it's a lot easier when you go to Insert to go to Recommended Charts and you have to have an idea of what the graph looks like. This is not correct. This is not correct. So you have to have an idea of what you're looking for. And you can actually get an idea by just looking at the data here. And this is the chart that we wanted to use. And then you would hit OK. I've already plotted it, so I don't need to do that. But it's rather nice when you do this so that you can see the payoffs. You can see them here in the table. And you can see them here in the uh, graph. And again, you can see that the short position makes you $3 more up until the point where um, the price of the stock goes above $20 and then you start losing, um, you continue to lose money with the short sale where the um, losses with the put option are capped.